We're at the NEC, baby. <laughs> <laughs> to the Caravan and Motorhome Show. 2022, October. Let's rock it. And I don't know where we're going. They seem to be walking in the opposite direction to what we do. Because they've done. <laughs> <laughs> we left at six o'clock this morning. We mm. left Willowfields. It was a bit wet, a bit dark this morning, so it slowed us down a bit. So, yeah, pulled in at Tamworth. Two hours, well, one hour, 59 minutes of free parking. Yeah. And then we moved. And then we've been sat in the NEC car park all day watching people go in and out. And finally it's our turn. Hopefully we've got some press passes waiting for us. Fingers crossed. Well, we need to have because we've got no tickets otherwise. <laughs> yeah, we've been, we've been really lucky. I've just got to say thank you guys for this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So it's Friday afternoon, what are we, quarter to three? Yeah, Let's go explore. It's, it's not bad actually, it's not too bad at the minute, it's quite it's nice. Quieter, isn't it? I've seen a load of people kind of spilling out, so I'm quite happy to be here this time. Yeah. So onward. <laughs> Let's go. What did you say? Son of a bitch. Why? How are you doing? All right, to you? Yeah. I've been wanting to look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Since God knows how long. That pulls out to make a door bed as well. Yeah. Mm. It got, it's a beautiful machine. Yeah. So that lifts up to give you a seating area there. So you're reading your magazine and somewhere you can. It pulls out here and that cushion drops in there to make you full yeah. bed. But you still get yeah. two steps to get up. Wardrobe. You've got drawers here, drawers there, and a wardrobe there. And you've got a wardrobe here as well. Yeah. And in the bathroom, I've looked in there, there's loads of storage in there. That's nice. Is that an oven grill? Oh, that a tower system, Nothing yeah, it's an oven grill, yeah. But that's just, and your freezer as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's one that works both ways. Is this Dometic 10? Oh, it's on as well. Oh, it's on? Yeah, it's on as well. You've got to see it working, haven't you? Yeah. Is it proper proper, uh, proper grills as well, yeah. not this plastic stuff? Yeah. That works that way as well. Uh, there's more bits to clean. I love this. More bits to clean. That's your drop down bed. The seats fold, it'll come down to the steering wheel. Yes, we saw that in uh, yeah. Miss, Mr. Adria. Yeah. Mr. Adria did it and it went in as well, which yeah. was nice. Yeah, really well, yeah. We've got a big sunroof that opens up as well, so not claustrophobic. And I think this is the long model, same as the double this bedded. One, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's under the bonnet then? It's a Mercedes Benz Sprinter engine. It's two litre, 170 brake horse. Mercedes said 150 was enough, but Adrian went 170. Yeah. Nine speed auto. I don't think 150 is enough, is it? No, that's what Adrian said, so he went yeah. 170. It's a big, it's a big. Yeah. Right, what about what's what's your spare payload? Right. All your figures are all here. So this weighs five or five five fully laden and it'll weigh four ton. Payload 1250. 1250. <laughs> well, I can't see now. No, but I need, I need, I need bed over there. Just, why don't you just nod my video up? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit close that. And, um, Note. <laughs> That's called the Adria Max system. It's fucking stunning. It's beautiful. He's going to sign on the dotted line any second. No. <laughs> Quick, shut door. Shut door. Quick, shut door. <laughs> yeah, chicken buggers. Ah. We'll leave you're you right. for a second if you're talking. We'll leave. We're no, not, we're we're not filming. Not. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> The fuel cap doesn't lock, so they put it in a locker. Because you always splash your diesel, it's got a little drain in the bottom. No way. It's clean down the lines. Nothing it shouldn't be there. What's in that one? That's your gas locker. So in there, that will take two 13 kilograms. You've got your crash sensor on there as well. Yeah. 
you've got heat in here as well. <gasps> so you can put clothes in the winter. And that red tap over there just turns the heating off. Nice and simple. And you've got your hooks as that well. That is your shower. Bikes. Outside shower, which is hot and cold. Mm. You just plug your hose in, which is up there. Plug it in, you wash down. Then put your bikes in there to and dry off. Bikes. And that's <clears> so high as well, the bikes will fit in there. Perfect. That is 120. That is 85. Tie downs. Yeah. Just move them to where you want to stay. Um. You've got your lights. Oh, that side you've got power and there's a drawer there for storage. So you've got power in here as well? Yeah, you've got like two... Side. So yeah, I want them to walk into it. Parking sensors, camera at the top. You've got power there. Yeah. And then in the front locker you've got power as well. <coughs> So that was day one of the NEC. Tomorrow's day two. Let's see what that one brings. Well, you're not topping that. <laughs> so let's go and see what day two's got. Yeah. Well, day two for us. It's my birthday today. Mm. Devin very kindly bought me a pair of new shoes. You can see they're new because they're not dirty. <laughs> they're, very, they're very white. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holiday trainers. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a feeling new shoes and NEC day are not going to bode well. Cue the disaster! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> so we're going to have a look at the liner for two because this is another option that we've looked at which would be quite quite suitable for full-time living we think. Jeez, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. What's she? 165,000 and I guess that's no, move out on no. the road. This one, look at the bottom one. It's 209. 209,000? 209. 209. I, I think it's actually a lot, it feels a lot smaller than what it looks. Or is this the shorter version? You've got the shower here as well. And the bed. This must be a shorter version. There's yeah. something missing. It's nice. I do like it. <laughs> I just... and, and I know this is, this is really lovely. But I think you're very... This is a, a defined space as a sofa sitting area. And it's a lot of space which you're commanding just for a sofa. That's my honest opinion. No, I agree. Um, and you know, like if you just want to have a kit lay down in the day, you've got to go and make, got to go and put your bed up. You've got to yeah. raise your bed, get your bed down, and all that kind of stuff. Steve, do you still want these clocks? I'm sure I could get them off here if you needed them, lad. But it is nice. It's nice that you've got your oven. But no, this is the long length because the short length doesn't have the, the rear. Ah, uh, yes. The rear um, display thing. But a nice big bridge. It's, it's, it's beautiful. But it, it's beautiful, but it's too fancy. Yeah. I think. The only thing I'm going to say with with the um, with the liner for two as well is the garage. You've got to raise up and down. So if you want to put your bikes in there, you're going to have to raise your seating area up. So you're not going to be able to keep your bikes in the garage whilst you want to sit no. in your sofas. Because no. our bikes are very high. So I think for us it doesn't work. It's a pain. So what's this one? It's got a flat roof. But can you walk under that? Easy. Yeah, there's no step. So I'm alright. I'm alright. 
in your what? How tall are you? I'm 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 about six with my hair up. <laughs> Five eleven and, and, and an inch of hair, so that's that's about six. Could be six in a bit. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. It looks comfy this. It is comfy. It's quite snuggly. But you can't sit there and watch TV? No, because it's behind me. I'm not sure about that. I like it, but I'm not sure how it looks. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? I suppose it's, I suppose, so it's really... It's Mercedes again. I think it beats having, because our, you know, like on our locker, we've just got two covers and then we've got side cubby holes. So at least with this one, you can put stuff away. Mm. And it's away, away. They don't drop on your head like we find. Yeah. Looks like I found a truck. Hmm. Absolute monster. What are we guessing on price tag? I'm about 353 quid short, so I'm going to have to pass. Look at the state of my hair. It's chucking it down. It's last day, Sunday. Day three for us. 8.50, we're in. We've got passes, we've got permission. No stupid music on. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's film. <laughs> so, first stop, paddle boards. There's some crackers here. They're huge. I didn't realise they were as big. You look at that. They're massive. Even though they're not here, we're still surrounded by Baileys. You can't get shut of the buggers. Look. <laughs> Go Baileys. Even got their own theme tune. <laughs> Just look down here, look. I couldn't do it to myself. But just while we're here, have a look at these. See what? What do you think of these? They are. These are beasts. We had a look in these yesterday. Didn't oh, we? there was some right interest the, yesterday. The top of them is made out of like what you have a airbed. The lady was saying. Mm. Um, it's, it's quite stiff. But I'm not sure about them. There's one on a, I think it's a Burstner, isn't it? The Burstner's got one of the pop tops. So yeah. We'll go and have a look at that yeah, as well. Yeah, we need to go and find it. But totally different, so different. You've got steps that you can just walk up into it. Yeah. We can find price if you want. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Look at back, that's awesome. But the whole back opens up like a, it's like a flip down. It's like a, outfit. it's like a Range Rover arse end, isn't it? Oh no, there's no price. But if you want more info, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, oh Little bits of weirdness always gets Darren. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fantastic piece of engineering I just don't know what it does right <laughs> let's crack on nice bit of welding there I need me one of these cables I think they're awesome look at the profile of that all right that one's a two pin but I've seen one where you can get a three pin on the outside. I think they're pretty awesome. I'm going to get me one of them in my basket. We've been looking specifically for something that caters for us, for our needs, for li like living full time. And without a shadow of doubt for us, I think best in show is the Adria Supersonic. It's, it is an absolute cracker of a van for the money, the layout, the technology on the Mercedes engine. Oh, it, it's sweet 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 it's going to be a hot cake for 2023 and beyond this one yeah yeah i think you need to get on it 
And, uh, Just need a discount code to afford the <laughs> price, Adria. <laughs> and since we're talking about it, here it is. So this is the other option. This is yeah. the uh, supersonic 890LC. With the island bed. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to the step up. Do they call it single bed? Well, they are two single. Yeah, aren't you've got they? the step two. up in the middle with two single beds, but two. it makes one massive bed at the back. But the only difference when you get the double bed is it, it raises and lowers, so it does compromise slightly on the garage space because you can imagine it it goes up and down. So it's why it's why we like the we like the two singles anyway because it gives us more room, doesn't? It? And the higher garage. Yeah. But for us with the e-bikes the other option makes sense because we can put them in and stow them there and we haven't got to they lower the bed you know if you want to lower the bed we've got to take the bikes out yeah so it's not going to be too much faffing isn't yeah. it but that's too much personal choice that one. if you had foldable e-bikes you'd be all right well you can get foldable e-bikes from yeah, well, from john and mandy at my rider <laughs> Going straight in first, straight to the back. This is a stunning bed, absolutely stunning. Feels so beautiful. And of course, goes down, comes this way a bit, so it, it, it is a bit awkward to get round. So many lockers. God knows what you put in there. TV point, bracket there, dimmer balls. Alder bleed point if you need it. Soft close. Nice skylight. Pretty cool. Tons of cupboards. That one, I think, would be for Cassie's shoes. Although she's only got about three pairs at the minute, so she's done really well. Oh, Jesus. Absolutely stunning. This is so stylish. Yeah, so where should we go? <laughs> so this is the other Sonic. This is the Sonic Super Supreme, I think it is. Sonic Supreme 700 uh, DL. So this is another option similar to the, this is in the seven to eight meter category and it's an award winner, this one. Um, but this is another absolute stunning van. If you don't, if you like the Sonic Super, um, Supersonic, but not the price tag, they think this is 113,000, but still an absolute cracker of a van. The space is just, it's a beauty, absolute beauty. So again, you've got your separate shower and toilet. But we are really loving this op this bed option. This is definitely a bed option for us for the future. Love it. Well done, Adria. Single bed. No, yeah, singles. Yes, yeah, single single bed. I can tell. So another good garage size. Yeah. Well, you could fit several children in there, Bailey's. <laughs> good, good morning everyone, welcome to the NEC, my name is Kevin from Banner Batteries. If you don't know about Banner, we're an OEM manufacturer. We manufacture for uh, Auto Trail, Bailey, Chanson, Pilot. We have a fantastic battery array of batteries and I'm with these wonderful customers here today and I've just helped them out and they're very pleased. And this lady's going to be winning £50 worth of love to shop vouchers.
my colleague over here to the right is Russell Shade. Say hello, Russell. Hello, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> That's ace. There you go. That's ace. <laughs> so we're here at the Brownhill stand. When you buy a motor home, you get one of these. It costs you about 80 grand. But, but it also gives you a free bacon sandwich every time you call. Or what else we got? Oh, we're having ploughmans for lunch and cakes for afternoon tea. There you go. So I just keep whizzing about, keep coming back, and they come feed me. <laughs> so I'm going to get me 80 grand's worth today. <laughs> I'm not sure what Cassie's having now. <laughs> Dan's made his first purchase of the show, haven't he? <laughs> what have you bought? Some plastic plates for the bottom of the awning legs. I saw Joff had some uh, earlier this year. I thought that's a really great idea, that. Because yeah. it takes two pins to four pins, and especially for when you're on hard standing. Well, that's the end of the caravan and motorhome show. Or is it motorhome and caravan show? Motorhome and caravan show yeah. 2022. October. It's an absolute cracker of the show. If you are considering coming, watch that bus. <laughs> if you're thinking of coming, it, it is a good show. The October one for us has been yeah. far better than the February. I've enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Even though two and a half days walking around, about 50 million steps I've done. There's no <laughs> left on me. No left on me. I'm telling you, I've lost two trouser sizes. <laughs> you reckon you won't? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of donuts though. <laughs> so yeah, so that's us over for the show. Um, and we'll see you on the next time. There's some good bargains. I got some bargains. We got one or two bits and pieces, didn't we? Yeah. Um, there was talking talking to one or two of the stands and, and they were doing some, I don't know, kind of 10% off, 15% off show prices. So, so it's been all right. I felt like mm. I've got a couple of deals, so yeah. I'm quite It's happy. always good when you feel like you've come away with a bargain. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Beth, love you to bits. Awesome, these. Thank you very much. Yeah. Talk to you in February. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.